Uh, yeah. Um, welcome back to CG Gaming of uh, Tales of Vespria. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to say anything too much. You want to know why? Because my YouTube channel is up to 380 and going on. Oh my god, thank you so much, guys. Ooh. <laughs> uh, keep it up. Like, leave a nice comments, subscribe more. Hit the bell for notifying more videos uploading, and of course, spread the word. Oh, by the way, tomorrow's my birthday. I'm still gonna play a little bit of more Tales of Vesperia, but also, ah, a little something in between the two. I don't mind doing it, so why not? Okay, so we made it to this Coliseum guy, and he runs the place so all the fighting is set The radio has to deliver the message, and not to mention, he probably didn't know it all, so this whole thing with that. Phoenix called Pharaoh. So the Patty taking off, SD Raven, Carol, Yuri, Judith, Rita, Repeat, etc. will have to figure out everything they need to know. Stick together as the true members of Brave Vespria. Still, this call seems to be of Nordo Nordo Polikia. That's a lot of stuff to do, and maybe we'll find some more answers somehow. Okay. Now let's go find a way in. I saved here last time to rest, so there has to be a way inside. The big door? Let's find out. That was some pirate journey on the ship, I guess. There, thanks to Kaufman delivering it, that's for sure. Uh... Hi? What is this? Hercules Coliseum and Disney? <laughs> Lord Bellius's private room is ahead. I cannot allow you to go any further. Says so the guy who's guarding with his shirt off and eye pads and scars all over his body. But we've come to see Bellius. What? Who are you? We're a guild. Brave Vesperia. New and improved guild. I haven't heard of you. Do you have an appointment with the Duce? Huh? An appointment? Unfortunately, my lord only meets with individuals who have appointments. How about a messenger from Don Whitehorse? The Don? Oh, my apologies. You know you should have said that sooner, Raven. Whatever. My name is Nats. I'm the acting representative for the Duce. Nats? Nats? Nats. I will gladly deliver any message huh? you have for the Duce. Big Mafia Connection warrior type, huh? Sorry, but the Don's orders were to give this letter directly to Bellius. Yeah, says so, Raven's proof. Is that so? Unfortunately, Bellius only receives guests on the night of a new moon. If you could perhaps come on the next new moon. The next new moon? That might take forever. I've had about like a few months or so for a new moon. Sometimes. Why only on the night of a new moon? I guess that's just how she does things. People can be weird sometimes. Mm -hmm. The moon just turned full, so the new moon is still a while away. So should we come back? We don't really have a choice if she's not here. Sorry for the trouble. I'll let her know that a messenger from the Dawn stopped by. Wait, it's a girl? Great, thanks. Didn't know that. So why don't we see what we can find out about the desert? And about Pharaoh, too. Yes. I'd like to get some information about the air crene myself. We shouldn't have trouble getting information about all of that in a city this big. You mind if old Raven goes ahead to the inn? I should send off a progress report to the Don. Sure. How you make contact? All right, let's get going too. Ah, oh boy. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, okay, I'm going back. <sighs> wonder who this person looks like. Wait. Wait, what the? Is this, did that pot just move? Hold on. I just want to double check something real quick. I, you guys saw that too, right? Ah, the chef! I thought I saw something weird. Guess you found me! You're pretty good! I'll teach you to cook as a reward. What you gonna get me this time? Oh. Kebab sandwich. You gonna make a sandwich with a kebab? I'll give you this so you can practice. Cool, thank you. 
got to go to the image again. Uh, what's with me with that accent? And what was with the chest like manly, strong, muscly type of a vase spinning around for his disguise? <laughs> food chain, food chain. Oops. <sighs> Let's see. What we, yeah, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Hang on a sec. What's we got? Huh. You know, you never know what you're gonna get till you get something out of it, huh? Guess we'll give that a shot for now. Alright, up we go! Where are we going to? Oh, right, the inn. Alright, alright. Raven's gonna come back. How am I supposed to make a time with this? Hello? There we go. Welcome. Staying the night? Seems like it. I think a companion of ours should have already arrived. Name Raven. A friend of yours? No. I'm afraid no one else has arrived today. Yep. Fishes of ravens, so to sure. The man old man is evermore. Why? I got a paw. I like raven birds in real life. Just making a joke. <sighs> that hopeless old man must still be wandering around. Or something more than wandering. Then why don't we go talk to some more people ourselves? Alright. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Okay. Oh! Game Grumps, Dan and Air, this message goes out to you. Thanks for posting the Batman Vengeance game. Keep it up. Kevin Cromwell was the best thing ever. I'm glad I met in person. One at a convention in Rhode Island. Comic Con, actually. And uh, the other one was... Uh, at Galaxy Kong last year, my wedding anniversary gift, and it was worth talking to him for a few minutes, and I got three autographs from him, so that would happen, and really. He will always be the voice of our Batman. Keep it up. I love you. I'll leave nice comments for you. You guys want to check out my channel, too. Anyways, let's talk to people. Hello? Positive, you need to read this. Mother Kato's Mountain? Ooh, only come in the portents. If you want, Th thank you though. Sansa Koroff. Oh, there it is. That's the name. At the Kato's Mountain Range. It does sound dangerous, doesn't it? Is it really that bad? Oh, well, I guess maybe they are. Could be thieves. Yeah, yeah, as if. I'm gonna talk more with the people for a bit. Maybe I'll go back and save again in an end. Again, thank you guys. Freely, 380 and going for the subscription. Oh, you just really make my day. Keep it up. Desire. Judith's kind? Oh. She saw something? Huh. Usually this place would be heavy guarded besides the common sea I'm going on. If I was in charge of something and if something goes off during the Colosseum tournament gaming of this place got under attack, I so do something about it, right? Well, wow, like you're doing your job. Hip, bit pip patty Patty? Hold that, hold that thought. You guys see that too? Patty! Hey! How you going on? I know, we're gonna be- we just seen her. She landed with us. Hey! Isn't that Patty? What's she doing? Talking to someone. It looks like she's shopping. Shopping this little thing? Huh. What you got, mister? Give me one of these. Or missy? One of these. E yes ma'am. Wait a second, dear. Huh? What? Um, those clothes are, uh, I'm sorry, but are you Eifried's granddaughter? Eifried's granddaughter? It's just that there's been a rumor going around. He you? There's a girl dressed like Eifried who claims to be his granddaughter. <sighs> huh? Granddaughter? That 
that means... I knew it. Your total comes to 450 gold. Hmm. Um, could I ask you to stop coming here? Is that because I'm Eifried's granddaughter? Uh, well, you see, I don't really mind myself, but our customers, you see. Huh? What? Wait just a second. I didn't say anything like that. Darling, you just said it hurt our reputation if the granddaughter of an outlaw shopped here. Well, yeah, she's wow, the granddaughter who knew? of a guy who violated the guild's morals and slaughtered tons of people. Oh. Well, that... Cut the crap. What? Do you honestly think a child is responsible for that? What exactly did she do that was wrong? True. If someone did from back then, if they're not going to be like the grandchild would be, the person did before, what happened in the past stay in the past. Jeez, he's like a gold roger, so. It's okay, Yuri. No need to get angry. This kind of stuff happens all the time. Even if they're clever and smart from the looks of a child, it's still wrong to actually... Uh, I wouldn't want to get a kid yelled at. It's still wrong. What is up with you? He was saying all of that for your sake. You don't have to worry about me. I'm leaving town soon enough anyway. Farewell. Uh, hey, wait up! <sighs> <sighs> you two have some nerve. Even if he isn't that kind of person, show some respect for a kid. You know, I get really pissed off if someone gets mad and hurts animals and children. And if that's, I stand in line and give them a beating. I would. I definitely would. Ugh, I swear. Patty is Eifried's granddaughter? I wonder what that's all about. I bet it's a different story than what we've almost been hearing. She never mentioned that before. I wonder if it's true. Maybe she was afraid how they reacted like those people did. I don't know. Who knows? But even so, is Eifried's reputation really that bad? What I've been hearing. After the Black Hope Massacre, he lost the trust of every guild. And now most guild members utterly despise him. Well, maybe they break the code of honor. Is that something very nasty? Ah, okay. Uh, Yuri, are you sure it's okay to let her go? This is Patty we're talking about. She's a strong girl. I'm sure she'll be fine. Right. Anyway, if we don't get back soon, the old man might get sick of waiting and start some mischief again. That's true. We'll get Patty time. She'll come around. If Efreed. What a shame, you know? Is Patty alright? She's tired. She'll pop back up soon enough. Do you think Patty's really Ifreed's granddaughter? Even if she is, that treatment is inexcusable. I agree, Esty. I totally agree with you. It's not unusual that Patty would bear the brunt of the anger. Ifreed isn't around to take it after all. But that's still no excuse to play Pat. True. Patty, you mustn't get used to all of this. She's tough. I'll give her courage on it. I'm a brave kid. Alright, let's save again and go to the Indian. Let me guess, Patty. Are you trying to reconcile for the air friend name? Are you trying to bring some good terms to it? Because if you are, I'm sure you're doing well. Onward! Oh, you're the customers from before. Has Raven come back yet, ma'am? Wait a second. You wouldn't happen to have a companion who's a flashy dresser. Hmm, guess so. Well, flashy's one way to describe them. Heh <laughs> I see. Your rooms have already been paid for, so please, make yourselves at home. Thank you, lady. Shall we call it a day? Ahem. Oh, thank you, mature, awesome lady of the inn. That's better. Good idea. We've earned a good night's sleep. Nap time! Duh. <laughs> Hmm? Essie. 
you're something else. You know that you really are cool. Princess. Princess, princess. Are you gonna find Patty? I'm sure you'll probably do that right now before you go to sleepy sleep. Are you missing the castle? Oh. Oh, Yuri. Moment. No, I just... I thought I'd come out for some fresh air. I just can't shake those words Pharaoh said to me. Oh, that's what she's worried about. Oh, yeah. What was it again? The insipid poison of this world must be purged. The world's poison? Hmm. Yeah, well, the world is full of pessimists, that's for sure. For what it's worth, you don't look like poison to me. No, you are awesome the way you are. No one's perfect. And that's because they're not perfect doesn't mean to find being of himself. Was that your attempt to cheer me up? Hey, I'm just trying to be straight with you. <laughs> I guess I do feel a little better. Hey! Yuri, look at that! Hmm? That's Brave Vesperia. Oh yeah, the star she talked about. The brightest star in the night sky. There's an old story about that star. In the days of old, a great cataclysm occurred that plunged the world into ruin. Countless lives were lost as the people struggled to stand against the oncoming disaster. Its energies all but spent, humanity's hope seemed lost when a pair of siblings appeared. This brother and sister together fought the calamity and saved the world from annihilation. The sister they called Child of the Full Moon. After the struggle, she uh. remained with the Earth. Her brother they called Brave Vesperia, and he ascended to the skies to watch over the world. Ha. Huh. The end. That's actually a really good story. Wow, so you went and gave our guild a name with a lot of baggage. Now that you know the story, you should strive to make your guild shine as bright as the star. Yeah, we'll have to tell Carol about this. We'll definitely have to live up to the name. I'm gonna head back. You should too, or Rita's gonna start worrying about you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that was a kitty scene I ever saw. Good. Alright, time to save. Oh, wait. A town with a coliseum sure attracts a lot of different kinds of people, doesn't it? Yes, people are here for all sorts of reasons. Some come to fight, some come to watch. And then there's people like us, too. I wonder what other people think when they see us on the streets. Well, I'd say they think we're here for the fights. Maybe for you and Yuri, but I couldn't imagine Estelle as a gladiator if my life depended on it. What about me? Hmm, a lost child. <laughs> what about all... Never mind. I know where this is going. <laughs> uh, that's a real one. Okay, everybody back together now. We're gonna see the Duque. Du... Duque. Duque. Do oops. I didn't mean that. Do K. Do K. Do K. Not the Duke. Do K. Do K. Do K. Do K. All right, and away we go. Oh, this is blooming. Let's we'll see what else we got here. Oh, <laughs> that's a regular business, guys. All right, in we go. Maybe they will be available to talk to this person. Uh, <gasps> hey, Duke. I'm sorry, but the Duce is not currently receiving visitors. Duce, this is the Duke. Please come back later. Duke. Hey, we keep bumping into each other. Must be fate. Search <laughs> your luck. There is no such thing. Okay, okay, he was just playing. Maybe not. What brings you to a place like this? I have come with tidings for the age-old master of this city. Bellius? Bellius? Are you here on business with a guild or something? Probably not, right? 
It is nothing so vulgar as that. Vulgar? All right, so what kind of noble errand are you on? I need not answer that. Uh, huh. Don't tell me you're out to save the world or something. Ah, <sighs> you're not like mad at anyone, are you? If you ever want someone to talk to you, there's no reason to hide it then, you know. Man, what's with that guy? Ah, uh, beats me. <laughs> what the hell? What's wrong? Oh, you're. You're gearing up. You're not being freaked out. Th th thank you. Can you give me a minute? Huh. One courage up, the other one's the other. I have no idea anymore. Uh, let's see here. Alright, what's next? Something on the bottom of the stairs, huh? Okay, well, I guess we're going there next. Quickly! Oh. <laughs> Wrong button. To the bottom of the stairs! Yeah. It makes weird noises. Something should be going on down there. Ooh, what the? You wearing a suit like down the bottom won't do you any good. Seagulls. Are these stairs actually stable to hold? I hope so. You started all of this! Huh? What are you talking about? B -b 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 Both of you! St -st Stop this nonsense! Oh, this old guy. You're making a scene like this out in front of everyone! Mind your own business! <laughs> You'd better put that away before you hurt yourself. Who the hell are you? Hey! If I'm wrong for doing this, you'll have my apology later. <laughs> but I think it's you two who are in the wrong here. Damn it! Scat. Out of here. Are you okay? Oh, <laughs> thank you so m much. Huh, <laughs> sort of like Piglet. Well... Can't blame him. You were with M M Madam President C Kaufman. He helped her, yeah. You're the guild Brave Vesperia. Come on, you're like a walking billboard. <laughs> <laughs> Let him have his fun. You're a gay of Ruins Gate, right? You might want to work out a little before you go trying to stop any more fights. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks. I mention it. Oh, uh, mm, there's a favor I wanted to ask of you. What? Far be it from us to ignore a request from Ruinsgate. Well, it depends on what it is. What did you want to ask us? P perhaps we could discuss this somewhere else. Could you come to the Coliseum? We could talk about it there. Whatever he has to say, he doesn't want anyone else to overhear. Sounds pretty suspicious to me. If Ruinsgate recognizes us, it'll help improve our reputation as a guild. Get too greedy with jobs and you'll end up neglecting all of them. Our job for the moment... ...is to look for Pharaoh and to escort Estelle. Yep. Yeah, you're right. I'll try to be more careful. But couldn't we at least hear what he has to say first? And then decide whether or not to accept? Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. If he asks too much, we'll just say no. We don't have the time to be getting wrapped up in more craziness. Let's go and stop by the Coliseum then. We can at least hear him out. Okay. In any case, I think I know what to do. Oh. 
Alright, that's for me. That should do it. Now then. Time to save again. Be ready for the upcoming event. Do do do. Open up! I wanna go into Coliseum! Open, open, open! Oh. I just rather push it open. Uh, having a character up between SC, Rita, and Judith we're gonna help wonders for Yuri in the next coming tournament. Oh, hold on, uh, just because I usually switch around different characters to play the other ones during battle doesn't mean I'm not gonna have Yuri in one of them. Big battles, yeah, but what? You're right. How can you be drunk at this early morning? Uh, Manic? Okay. Relax. Nobody said we've decided to take the job yet. That can wait till you tell us what this is all about. Please. Alright. I would like you to stop the man who is trying to take over Palestrale. Take over? This city? Who? Hmm. The plot thickens. But it twists like in my Shyamalan. Why are you so interested in stopping them, though? It's not your guild, so why not just let it be? You see, we have been commissioned by Palestrale to investigate the ruins at the Colosseum. Huh. Yeah, come to think of it, this city's supposed to be super old. Yeah. If s someone else took control, it would be discourteous to the Intelikeia. So, like, if they're not doing your job right, you're obviously being despicable. Yeah, I can see where this is going. Antelo, what? Oh, oh, oh yes. M my apologies. D do you not know of them? I have heard that th they are the ancient race who built this town and uh, allow the guilds to be here. An ancient race, huh? huh. Like the Kritya? Okay, uh, so then who's this guy who's trying to rock the boat here? Certain races have different beings, but some of them are dishonored most of the time. He, he's the champion of the C C Coliseum. Huh? What are you talking about? Really? He is a man who has entered the tournaments to, to, to take on Palestrale directly. His c consecutive victories have brought him closer to B B Belius. This m man is terribly dangerous. If he is not s soon eliminated, I fear that the Bellius may be. Ugh! Well, fine, good. So as long as he's winning, Paul Estrella couldn't get rid of him even if they wanted to. Talk about cowards! So, long story short, you want us to enter the tournament and beat him, right? Bad up! Yes, P please for forgive my asking. Ah! You're asking nicely. Jeez, why do you say so? <laughs> you had to make sure we take the job, and you wouldn't say anything bad. Are you sure this guy is really trying to take over the Coliseum? 100% sure, alright? Of uh, course, and he's being b b backed by L Leviathan's Claw. Ooh, Leviathan's Claw, that name again! L Leviathan's Claw plans to use the c c Coliseum for income to, d to dominate the other guilds. Jeez, what is this? No, we called Country of Hydra from Marvel? That sounds like a plan someone like you more might come up with. Oh, worse. No way. We already know Q more and Leviathan's claw are working together. Hmm. Wonder what'll fall out of this tree if we shake it a little. Huh. <laughs> more like many apples will fall not far from the tree unless you enforce it. Whatever happens, we have to stop Leviathan's claw. I'm in. Relations between the Empire and the guilds will only worsen if we don't. What about Pharaoh? There's no telling when you'll be able to meet him if we get into this. I have a feeling he won't be getting any further, far away as much. Um, but... Estelle, what is it that you really want to do? What I really want to do? I, I beg your pardon. Is this a d difficult decision for you all? Not really for there me. There isn't anything difficult about it. What do you mean? We're going to do it, aren't we? We've listened to the story now, at any rate. Esty, I know deep down we'll see Pharaoh again. You are going to be the princess to rule over the kingdom for the better, and you want to. But for right now, things are going your way differently, and we want to help others. Your instinct tells you so, right? Right. As a guild, this might not be something we can just ignore. So then, who'll be entering the tournament? 
Well, we can't ask Estelle, Rita, or Raven to participate. After all, this is a job Brave Vesperia will be doing for Ruins Gate. Okay, so? No hard feelings, but I'd rather not have to go up against Judy. Hmm? And I was just getting ready to enter. Oh well, I suppose I can sit this one out. The boss here shouldn't have to trouble himself with this. So it's up to me then, right? You got it, Yuri. Um, right. So, d do you mean you'll take the job? Cha-ching. Sure. Being the champion will be good for our guild's reputation. And spread the word! Brave the Spiria group of the guild has gonna kick ass! At least in good days at the same time helping out others. Maybe like Batman, but in a good way. Hi, Batman. It's not a bad deal for us at all. Not a, even close. Yeah, you're right. I see. W well, please proceed to the registration area when, when you are ready. Okay. Alright then, well, hold that thought, guys, because I'm going to make sure I get enough I need. I want to make sure everything... Sorry. Everything's all good and mighty. I think all of it seems to be in shape. For the set of what else, etc. We got nothing else to worry about. We got a lot of reputations in mind as such. We got other stuff we need to have in our group. We got other things the Colosseum's gonna have, and we got all good to go. Whoop, whoop. And we're gonna save our cash. We'll probably win some. I'll heal up, etc. Let's check it out. Yep, we're good. Okay, then. Time to save. Uh, so we're gonna be in the tournament, yo! Yay! And we'll stop here just in case. But be prepared for upcoming events. It's nice to have a cuddly, relaxing scene once in a while, huh? Yeah. It's still a pie's alright. But it's twisted us so far. Anyways, until next time, all your Tales fans out there, Tales of Vaspria, we'll see you then. Tournament time, Coliseum!